Alright, welcome back everybody, we're back here with some Daisy gameplay today. I wanted to talk about the Daisy updates that are soon to come in the next coming up uh, weeks or month or whatever. Um, but Daisy hasn't really had the uh, best reputation lately on updates and lag and such. They just haven't had much uh, time to update the game. Well, they have had lots of time. They've actually had tw five months to be updating the game and getting everything, uh, giving, getting everything right with the game. But it's just not up to par with a lot of people's standards because of the lag latency and such, the rubber banding they've had, the uh, lack of abilities and lack of uh, weapons, lack of just everything in the game, like uh, cars and vehicles and uh, activities like cutting down wood, surviving aspects like uh, fishing and hunting for uh, bears and wolves and food and such just to survive rather than just looking through towns to find food. But, in the next update, they're saying that they're going to be um, updating a lot, actually. I was looking at the change logs lately. And they're going to be adding some different guns to the game, first off. They're going to be adding up, the, adding in the AKM, a new AK uh, rifle to the game, uh, with a 30 standard mag. Which is going to be awesome, just to have an AK in the game, rather than just an assault rifle as an M M4, which is pretty much the basic gun in any game you should have. And they're also going to be adding the Longhorn... The Longhorn, whatchamacallit, uh, it looks like a pistol, I'm pretty sure, yeah. It's a pistol, and also they're going to be adding the P1 pistol. So, two pistols, right, I'm pretty sure. And one, whatchamacallit, assault rifle. So, with the addition of these new guns, they're going to have to add new, um, like, mechanics like hunting and fishing and getting surviving, pretty much survival game, it's a survival game against zombies and such, they aren't going to get rid of zombies, I know that much, um, but they have to add in these new mechanics for surviving, so what they've done here is they've added deer, boar, goat, cow, and fish in the game, it's not done yet, these are all on the change logs that they want to add in for the next update, these are in beta, well beta for them at least, to look at and see if it's going to work out well and if these do plan out and work out the way they plan <laughs> it will be awesome because we will actually have a way of surviving rather than just going through towns like I said before we will be we, <laughs> we will be able to survive without having the need of a city we can go out in the wild find animals kill them skin them cook their meat on a raw fire that they're gonna be adding fire as well in the game so you can make a campfire and cook food and survive off the wilderness They'll also be adding fishing, so you can fish in like seas and ponds and uh, just anywhere water is to find fish and survive off of that as well. You can dig for worms to catch bait f to fish and pick apples from trees to survive if you want to eat apples. That could be a challenge if you want to do. And also, there are going to be new animations when you're going to be like crouching and building um, new building footstep sounds and such different sounds and... Just activities like actions, like wild boar, uh, uh, pelt, uh, which I'll, what else? I'm bringing down the list here. Fishing actions, uh, search for berries. You can search for berries now to find food. Drinking from ponds and animate new animation for that. You can drink from ponds, get water from that rather than just going to find find a water fountain in a city. You can yeah, drink some ponds and such from fresh water and such. Uh, there are fire kits, road flares, and fishing hooks and. Composite arrows and firewood and tons of different stuff for surviving. The big, big part about this update is the new guns. And hopefully they will try and fix the melee combat in this game. The melee combat is a huge issue right now. Because the damage that you normally do with an axe to a zombie doesn't seem to be actually um, harming the zombie when you hit it. So, I don't know why. It might be it's just not registering. And they need to fix that before... I die in the game. I don't really want to die from using a weapon, even though in this video, as you can see, I have a couple weapons to survive, but I will need um, new uh, ammo and more ammo to kill off zombies once I run out of all this ammo here. But continue on. There is going to be a new uh, search for berries pop up when you are actually searching for berries in um, like bushes and such. As I said before, zombies corpses no longer will block you in doorways. You won't have to be like a stop by a zombie you can just walk over it won't like push you back or anything and zombie cor corpses will disappear in 68 to 80 seconds instead of instantly now so they will stay there 
for a little bit so you can go and it, it won't just like disappear instantly and you won't think like, whoa, where'd he go? Like teleportation and such, <laughs> which zombies I don't think would do, even if they were real, but <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, there are new uh, locations, new mine areas in Gov Govs, I can't even say, Govs don't know, and uh, there's a new pier uh, pyramid has been replaced by a sign in uh, another place. I'm not sure, I'm reading up the list here, but... There's a lot of updates. I'm hoping that these new updates will fix the game somewhat. There is, there's going to be still severe rubber banding issues with the game and client crashes. It's still a like alpha, pretty much beta game. It's, it, I know it's released. Yeah, it is a standalone. It is released, but it's still a very, very beta game. It is not, should not have been released yet. I swear. But it is a fun game. I hope that they fix it, everything, all the issues with the uh, latency and lag and rubber banding and such. And I hope that they add new weapons and new guns and new uh, like w vehicles and bikes and motorcycles and helicopters and planes and all that. But that's going to be like in a year or so. They've had like uh, five months to work on the game, which I think they should have been a little bit further in um, development of the game, even of when they have this. Um, stable build of a different engine. I, that is kind of difficult to uh, modify an engine off another engine to make your own game, but that's their choice. They're having to do that while they're making the game, modify the engine while they change the game, which is kind of a two tasks in one at the same time, which is going to like really slow them down. And pretty much the game's been out for f five months. It's been out for two years as a mod at least, but the game's been out for five months. Hopefully, in the next five months, we'll see a much better improvement, hopefully. But, you know, I, I can't be a fortune teller every day of the week, and I'm not a fortune teller. So I hope DayZ turns out good in the end and fixes all the lag and issues and all the issues that they have in the game, not having vehicles and such. But that's all the time we have today, guys. If you enjoyed, please do a like down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.